Welcome to the Interstellar Stories channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a topic. Animals were classified as either clean or unclean in the Mosaic Law. Rabbits were deemed unclean, meaning that Jews were not allowed to consume them or use them as sacrifices. The statement, the rabbit, though it chews the cud, does not have a divided hoof. It is unclean for you, served as the basis for the rabbit's classification as unclean. Considering that hares and rabbits do not chew cud, this passage is sometimes cited as an illustration of a Bible mistake. Without a doubt, rabbits do not chew the cud in the contemporary scientific understanding of the expression. But that doesn't matter, because the Bible wasn't written in contemporary English. What counts is the meaning that the translated sentence had when it was written in Hebrew. Redigesting food after it exits the body is a process known as refection, or coprophagy which is what rabbits and hares do, that is, rabbits eat their own excrement. Additionally, it's been seen that rabbits move their lips continuously, mimicking the way cows and other ruminants chew. Leviticus 11.6 does not intend for in-depth scientific investigation. Rather, it is designed for basic identification. The key phrase in Hebrew is ala gerach. Ela is used extensively in the Old Testament and means to restore, take up, collect, recover, or regurgitate. It's used to describe the handling of money, swords, and even the Ark of the Covenant, so it doesn't have to mean something biologically specific. The word's broad usage doesn't stop skeptics from claiming that the word absolutely must mean regurgitate, and that Leviticus 11.6 is therefore a gigantic error. Gera is only used in Leviticus 11, so it's more difficult to know exactly what it means. What is clear, however, is that rabbits, like ruminants, make a constant chewing motion, and like ruminants, they redigest their food. We also know that the description given is pretty easy to understand. Rabbits recover food and make a constant chewing motion. But since they do not have a split hoof, they are unclean. The bottom line is that, to the Old Testament, Hebrew-speaking people a la Gera described the visible actions of both cows and rabbits. In English, this phrase has been translated as chewing the cud, which means something slightly different to us, but it's the closest we have. Any perceived inaccuracy here is caused by forcing meanings the original writer did not intend onto the words he used.